Hi and welcome back to this new video tutorial of Akinio. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out Akinio custom CSV export plugin. Now using this particular plugin, the admin of the Akinio would be able to uh, basically export the Akinio product information into a customized CSV file and can use it to upload the product information on third party platforms, suppliers and other applications there. Can you note that this particular plugin allows you to basically do the mapping of the fields between the Akinio uh, product fields and the CSV field columns there. Apart from that, this particular plugin uh, basically works for both the products and the product models there. So in today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be checking the workflow of this particular plugin in the admin backend panel, wherein we'll be seeing how the admin in the first place would be able uh, to do the mapping between the Aquino fields and the CSV field column values there. And apart from that, we'll see how we can create a mapping there for the same. Then we'll be seeing how we'll be able to create an export profile job for exporting the product information into a CSV file. And lastly, what we'll be doing is we'll be running the export profile job there and we'll be seeing how the product and the product model information uh, get saved into the customizable CSV file there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop onto the Akinio backend panel and let's check the workflow of this particular plugin that's the Akinio custom CSV export plugin in the admin backend panel now. So right now you can see that I'm at the Akinio backend panel. So what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the Akinio backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the login button thereafter. So, so let's go ahead and let's log into the admin backend panel there. So let me tap here on the login button that we have. And after the successful installation of this particular plugin, you'll find one option on the admin side hand panel here with the name CSV export as you can see on the bottom left hand corner there. So the very first thing that I want to show you is uh, how we'll be able to create a mapping there in the backend panel for the uh, uh, Akinio fields and the CSV uh, column fields there. For that, we have to navigate to the CSV export uh, option that we have on the side panel. And here you can see that we have the mapping template section for the CSV connector itself. And here you can see that I've already created two types of templates. One is for the simple products and one is for the product models itself. You can also create one single, uh, what we say as the mapping template there, or you can create it for the simple product or for the product models as well as for your own requirement there. So to create a template, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the create template that you can see on the right hand side. So let me tap here on the create template and then we have to give the name of the template. So let me give the name as test uh, product export template. And then we'll be tapping here on the save button thereafter. After we have tapped on this uh, save button there, we will be seeing the CSV export mapping section wherein we have the CSV field names. Then we have the Akinio simple model uh, product mapping fields. Then we have the Akinio variant uh, product mapping options. And then we have the default values for the same as you can see just below the CSV export mapping. Here we have the CSV field name, Akinio simple model uh, product mapping, Akinio variant product uh, mapping option and the default values uh, for the different uh, fields there of the uh, Akinio there. And uh, under that we have the add mapping CSV field and then we have the other mapping section. Uh, now let me give you an example of how we can uh, do the mapping between the CSV field name and the Akinio simple or the model product mapping there. For that, for example, I want to have uh, the mapping between the CSV field header name. For example, I have the CSV field header name is SKU. Uh, then what I'll be doing is I'll be choosing the CSV simple model product field type. So here I'll be choosing between the single attribute field, multiple attribute field or concatenate attribute field. For this particular example, because we are having the SKU, uh, which is a single attribute field. So I'll be choosing single attribute field. Then now uh, for the product model field format or for the simple or the model product field format, I'll be choosing the file uh, field uh, format there. So the SQ would be of the type uh, attribute name. So I'll be choosing attribute name here. You can go with the separator or the attribute value as well. 
uh, then for the variance we have the variant field type so here the variant field type would also be single attribute field so I'll choose it as single attribute field then we have the variant field format so for this as well I'll be choosing the attribute name and then we have the Akinio field type now the Akinio field type because we are having the uh, CSV file uh, CSV field header name as SKU and uh, it comes under the attribute of the identifier uh, within the uh, Akinio itself so I'll be choosing here it as the identifier so you can add multiple Akinio field types here for the particular one that you're going to add and then I'll be tapping here on the add field button after tapping on the add field uh, you'll see that the particular thing would be added here uh, the SKU that's the CSV field name uh, then we have the uh, Akinio simple model product mapping so here you can see that now we are able to see the identifiers of the Akinio uh, that have to be mapped with the CSV field name there so here we have according to the identifier in Akinio we have the attribute that is the SKU there so we'll choose SKU for the same then we have the Akinio variant product mapping option so for this as well we'll be choosing it as SKU now if I hover my mouse here you can see that only identified type attributes are allowed so because when we were choosing the Akinio field type we had chosen the Akinio field type as identifier so for the SKU we have all of the attributes being listed that are under the, uh, the identifier there as SKU thereafter if you have any default value for a particular field uh, there you can enter that as well as per your own requirement and then you can tap here on the save button to save the particular mapping there similarly uh, you can do the uh, mapping between the csv field names and the akinio simple model product mapping there uh, or the akinio fields there as per your own requirement depending upon what values you want to map there between the csv field names and the akinio fields there and uh, then uh, accordingly you have to come down to the other mapping section and here you have to choose the csv category field you can set it as categories uh, you can choose the multiple value separator there uh, then you can choose the simple model product field format separator the csv variant field format separator uh, the csv family field can be chosen uh, then you can choose the csv product enabled field uh, then you can choose to export the root category you can enable it out you can export the attribute label you can export the unit with me uh, metric attributes as well apart from that you can export the category label as well and export the select option as well so after you have configured this thing uh, this mapping here you, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the save button to save the particular mapping there after that if i come down back to the csv export section there you will see that the test product export template has been created to enable it up i'll just tap here on the uh, enable option and you can see that it has been enabled now i've already created the uh, mapping template uh, uh, for the akinu fields with the csv field columns there uh, for the simple product export and the product model export for a better understanding we can create a sim uh, single one as well but i've created two ones uh, that is the simple product export and the product model export now if i go to the simple product export and i open this uh, uh, mapping here you can see that i've mapped the csv uh, field name that's sku with the akinio field name for the simple and the product models as sku and for the variants as well as sku uh, name with name, price with price, weight with weight, quantity with quantity, description with description, short description with short description, meta keywords with keywords, available date with the release date, size with size, collection with collection, brand with brand, color with color, auto exposure with auto exposure. And for each, you can see that I've chosen the attribute field name uh, value as for example, for this, we have chosen only yes and no types are allowed. For this i've selected only simple select types are allowed so here we have the akinio field type so whenever you are selecting the akinio field type for a particular mapping all of the attributes that are under that akinio field type uh, that would be visible under that for example if i go with this uh, brand here we have chosen it as simple select allowed types so only the simple select types uh, would be available here for selection uh, under the Akinio field uh, values that itself as you can see here. Now after you've created these mappings here you have to tap on the save button to save the particular mappings there as I've shown you and here under the other mappings you can see that we have chosen the CSV category field as categories, uh, the multiple value separated as comma, 
CSV simple model product field format uh, separator as forward slash. Same for the CSV variant field format separator. Uh, the CSV uh, family field has been set as family field. CSV product enable field as product enable. And we have enabled all of these options for the uh, root category export, uh, the attribute label export, select option as label export, uh, the export for the category label and for the exporting of the unit with matrix uh, attributes as well. Now this was uh, the particular section wherein we saw how we can create the mapping uh, and how we can save the particular mapping between the Aquino fields and the CSV fields there. Now after we are done with this particular section, we need to go to another section to create an export profile job for exporting the product information into the customized CSV file there. Now for that, you have to go to the export section and here already created two different uh, basically profiles you can create a single profile as well as per your own requirement and uh, for this example i've created the model product export to export the model products and simple product export to create or to export the uh, simple products into the csv file there now to create an export profile what you need to do is you need to tap here on the create export profile button and then you have to give the code label and under the job required you have to scroll down to the particular section that says webcool csv connector and here you have to choose the csv product export and then you need to save that particular job so using the same i've created two there let me close this particular window here for the same i've created two different uh, sections here one is for the model product export and one is for the simple product export now let's see how we can export the product information into the customized CSV file for the simple product. So for the particular product, uh, particular profile that we have created here, let me go to the simple product export profile. Let me tap on that and then let's tap here on the export now button. Now this particular process would uh, check the product export there, read one, written one, and then you can tap here on the download generated files. And here you can see that uh, we have the same uh, being downloaded in the CSV file format. Let's tap on the download. The export uh, simple product file has been created. Let's open it up. And here you can see that we have the simple product with the SKU name, price, weight, quantity, description, short description, meta description, uh, collection, meta title, product, embedded, categories, family fields, so on and so forth. And that's how we can export the uh, product data into the customized csv file and then you can make use of this particular csv file to upload the product information on the third-party platform suppliers or uh, other applications like uh, you're going to you are having a particular website and you want to add the products to that website you can go to the back end there and then you can import the products using this particular customized csv file there itself so this was about uh, the uh, uh, simple products or the products there now let's go back to the export profile and let's go with the model product export that would allow us to export the product models into the csv file there so i'll just tap here on the export now button and this would start the process you can see that the product model export has been read one written one now let's tap here on the download generated files and the particular uh, product information for the uh, product models has been downloaded. Now let's tap here on the OK button and let's open this CSV file. So here you can see the model braided hat is the main product there. And these are the two uh, different uh, variations for the same. One is the large and one is the medium. And the rest of the CSV file columns are visible there that have been exported there within the customized CSV file depending upon the mapping that we have done between the uh, CSV file uh, CSV field uh, columns and the uh, Akinio fields there. So yes, that was much about this particular plugin. That's the Akinio custom CSV export plugin. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how we'll be able to basically export the Akinio product information into a customized CSV file. And then you'll be able to make use of the uh, customized CSV file to upload the product data on the third party platforms, suppliers and other applications or any website that you're having and you wanna add products to that particular website, 
then you can make use of this customized csv file to import the products within that particular website by choosing that uh, particular customized csv file in the admin backend panel of that particular website backend there so yes that was much about this particular video today and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise the ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead